Joel Murphy with Shaker Consulting Group. In our attempt to support staffing process improvement, we ask thought leaders and individuals with rich experience in the recruiting space to offer their suggestions on what we can do to improve the candidate rejection process. Here's what one of them has to say. Well, I think there's a lot of things that we can do better, but I think the most important one is to really follow what you see marketing uh, professionals doing, which is they don't let people fall through the cracks very often. Um, if they do, it's picked up by a customer service professional. They set up auto responses. They make sure that there's a CRM set up for people that they deal with on a day in and day out basis. And since employer brand and consumer brand are moving ever closer together and HR professionals are learning from the marketing counterparts how to effectively deal with this, I think it's a, it's a really smart move to take your lead from them. So that's the first thing. Look at what smart marketing professionals are doing to stay in contact with their customers and do that because candidates, no matter how, whether they're rejected or whether they become employees, are your consumers. Um, secondly, uh, I think that a good solid no, like we were just talking about, makes a huge difference. When you hem and haw or when you don't give them information because it's bad information, what you're doing is actively impeding their job search. And that's not acceptable. That's, that's, the ant that's antithetical to what you're supposed to do as an HR professional or what you're supposed to be doing as a recruiter. Finally, pay attention to what it is that you're asking of people. If you need 10 great candidates, you don't have to find 150. You just need to build better assessments into your tools. You need to learn how to build appropriate talent communities and target these people. We actually have the data to do this between all of the social networks, the way people are building their social graphs, all of the social recruiting platforms out there available to help you. There's, there's not really any excuse not to use that data to very tightly refine and focus your search so that you don't have to say no to 90 people. You have to say no to 10 or 5 or 2, depending on the rec you're trying to fill. Those would be my top three tips.